Good morning, guys. I am Jeff the Homestead Dad. I got my helper out here this morning. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> We're going to go do the chores. It is a little bit chilly this morning. Like I said, um, today is supposed to be colder than it was yesterday. Yesterday it was like 65 all day long. Today we're starting at 30, but it's still supposed to get in the mid 40s, so we'll take it. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Animals are good, chores don't take very long anymore. Just uh, making sure that the cows have water and then feeding the pigs and chickens. Pretty, pretty quick. So, yeah, life is good. Hey guys, good morning, good to see you again. I um, hope you slept well. We are on our way to co-op to drop that big fellow right there off. We got everybody else in the car. So we're going for a quick ride to drop him off. The rest of us go to co-op later, so we'll see you guys in a bit. That's what we're stuck in right now. It's always the chance we take when we're coming to Ann Arbor around rush hour. Uh, I have to say, you can see the red on my face from the brake lights in front. Um, there was a beautiful, beautiful sunrise this morning before the rain pushed in but I didn't go outside and do the chores before leaving. And I'm gonna do the chores when we get back. So I'll put a picture of the sunrise somewhere in here. A couple hours later, we got blue skies. The rain has just pushed through. You can see the dark clouds are right there. It's supposed to be dry the rest of the day, get up to near 50. It's supposed to be warm for like the next three days, through the weekend, I think. So the chickens, I think, are a little upset with me because I didn't feed them as early as they would like. And here they come. They come running to me because they love me so much. It has nothing to do with the fact that I'm feeding them. They just love me. The problem is, they start getting around my feet like this, and I end up stepping on them. Because they just don't care. Anyway, I'm going to feed the animals quick. Then we've got to get heading off to co-op. Mornings like this are a blur. Because we drop off Homestead Boy 1. We've got to come home. And um, then I order the pizzas for lunch. Because um, people can order pizzas from Domino's for our co-op lunch. And then we got to pretty much like, load up and head back to co-op for the afternoon. So that's what I'm doing. The magpies like the downspouts. They've made themselves a little puddle there that holds water after it rains. one of those days where it seems like everything that can go wrong will like kids not getting ready when they're supposed to or babies peeing all over their clothes when you're supposed to be walking out the door yeah that's happening to me right now hey guys we're on our way to co-op um, it's been one of those mornings where the day has just flown by there aren't enough hours in the day for the things that I need to do uh, I'm actually going to talk about that I'm going to do a little video on my other channel, Homestead Dad Ruminations. I'll put a link to the video up here, and then I will put a link to the channel right here as well, in case you guys are interested. Um, just kind of my perspective on bad days, and tough days, and when things go wrong, how do I deal with it? I got a question back in the summer when the piglets were getting out every single day and they were driving me nuts something along the lines of do you edit out all of the parts that you get angry um, so I can kind of give you my perspective on that if you guys ever watched Justin Rhodes you know that um, he calls his chickens dinos but that guinea hen right there the way it walks and it moves I could totally see it being a dinosaur plus it just kind of squeaks it doesn't cluck like you're used to a you know, chicken doing you guys hear it that high-pitched squeaking is that bird. Anyway, we just got home. We gotta get the kids loaded out of the car, ready to go to the next thing, so off we go. I did wanna mention to you guys, when we got home from taking Homestead Boy 1 to co-op earlier, somebody's pulling out of our driveway. It was a truck with a trailer and a big bunch of tube on the back. And so I followed it down, cause it's just, you know, somebody's gonna be in my driveway, I don't know who, what they're doing. Well, they're actually boring less than a mile down the road for Spectrum Cable which would be high-speed internet. Now they said they're just doing on the perpendicular road to ours, not our road, but that means they're getting closer. So maybe at some point soon we could actually have high-speed internet and I wouldn't have to worry about uploading and downloading and having enough bandwidth to do live streams and stuff like that. That would be really, really nice. 
I would almost feel like I wasn't out in the country anymore. I mean, high speed internet. You guys can see that. There's a cat in the back window of that car. This <laughs> is stop and go traffic. And the cat keeps on having to like get up and stop itself from falling off of the seat. Sorry it's so shaky, it's because I'm zoomed in. Who drives the cat in the back window? Who drives the cat in the car, period? It's not safe for you and for the cat. Hey guys, it's the end of another couple of busy days. Uh, everybody's asleep. I'm about to head inside and try to edit this video. Uh, but I just want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, please go ahead and click on that like button, click on the subscribe button and that little notification bell. It'll help make sure you don't miss any of our videos. And uh, otherwise, comment on the videos and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. I think I might be able to say video one more time. Video.